hello everyone today in this video i'm going to present material balance in food processing that how to solve the problems based on material balance first of all let me show you how to represent a system in a food material balance this is the system and the definition of a system says that a system is a physical entity that has a definite boundary and you can say it it has a definite boundary what we are going to do we have to put the raw material from here and we have to take the paste or the concentrated product from here we will put hot air from this side and the wet air will come from this side so let me show you now you can see that here we put the raw material and the paste came out we make uh, the dry hot air goes from this side and it comes like a wet air from this side raw material can be the wet material raw material can be a wet material for example tomato puree and the paste can be a dry product for example tomato ketchup so we see here that it is a dryer or you can say an evaporator in which we put the raw material for example the tomato puree when it passes through the evaporator the product came out as the paste or you can say the dry product for example the tomato ketchup for solving the problems based on material balance we know one thing that material in is equal to material out let me write the equation now you can see that material in is equal to material out let's start discussing it with some questions now you can see the question that a concentrated juice with 40 percent is put into an evaporator the amount of juice the dilated juice that we get is 2000 kilogram and its concentration is 10 percent the juice that entered into the evaporator is 40 percent concentrated we put some water to make the juice diluted you have to find out the amount of juice that enters into the evaporator and the water that has been added to make the juice dilute now before we start solving the question we know one thing and that is material in is equal to material out now see what is going in into the system and what is going out into the system we know that c and w are going inside of the system and w is coming out of the system so we can write the equation as c plus w is equal to p and we know that p is nothing but 2000 kilogram now writing the material balance equation with respect to the solid content here we know that the solid contents is the concentration the amount of solid present in a solution so on the place of solid content we are going to write the concentration of the products respectively now we know that uh, the concentration of c was given as 40 percent which will be 0 0.4 the concentration of water is always zero there is no solid particles or solid content present in the water and the concentration of the product that was 2000 kilogram the concentration was 10 percent so it will become uh, to be 0 0.1 solving this equation we can get the value of c and it will comes out to be 500 kilogram now putting the value of c in the equation c plus w is equal to 2000 we can get the value of w also and it comes out to be 1500 kilogram so this is the complete solution of this question we have another question as a single effect evaporator is used for the concentration of fruit juice which is 5000 kilogram per hour has having 10 percent concentration when put inside the evaporator some water evaporates from it and that is the w what amount of product will be produced per hour of operation and what amount of water will be evaporated if the concentration of the final product is 40 percent for solving this question we know what goes in comes out so material in is equal to material out will be c is equal to w plus p we can write the equation like this 
and consider this equation to be equation number 1. Now we know that the amount of C is 5000 kilogram per hour. So we can write the equation as 5000 is equal to W plus P. Make it as equation number 2. Now writing the mass balance equation will be mass balance with respect to solid content. We know that the solid content that is the concentration of C is 10% and concentration of P is 40% and the concentration of water will be 0. So we can write the equation like this. From here, we can find the value of P. Putting this value of P into the equation 2, we can find the value of W also. We have another question where a product which is 80%, which contains 80% moisture, is put into a dryer and the product comes out as 50% moisture. So, obviously, some water will be lost. So how much weight reduction will result and see here and not the concentration but the moisture content has been given so 80% moisture content we have 20% solid content and for the product that we have 50% concentration uh, has 50% moisture content so the solid content will also be 50% so now see how can we solve this question first of all we know that material in is equal to material out material in is equal to material out we can see that easily that C is going in and W and P are coming out. So we can write the equation like C is equal to W plus P. But you can see in this question uh, the amount of neither the uh, reactant nor the product has been given. So we can take the basis is equal to 100 kilogram per feed. So you can see that basis is equal to 100 kilogram of feed. So 100 gram kilogram will become the value of C so we can write the equation in the form W plus P is equal to 100 now we, we can write the material balance equation with respect to the solid content as mass balance with respect to solid content we can write Z a water which has 0% solid content the product has 50% moisture so its solid content will also be 50% which is 0.5 and the reactant uh, is 100 kilogram which has 80% moisture so the remaining that is 20% will be the solid content we can write 20% as 0.2 now solving this equation we can get the value of P as P will comes out to be 40 kilogram now putting the value of P in equation when we can find the value of W also which will comes out to be 60 kilogram now adding these two we can see we get 100 kilogram which is the reactant so our answer is correct but we have to find out the weight reduction so how can we find out the weight reduction you can see it here the formula for weight reduction is weight reduction is equal to initial weight minus final weight upon initial into 100 so on the answer will be in percentage we know the value of initial weight is 100 the final weight is 40 and the initial is again 100. So we can put and find out the percentage of weight reduction.